girlfriends welcome back to the channel for another video this week if you're new here my name is Jerry Garcia but all my friends call me G and welcome back to the channel girl for another vlog I just wanted to come and greet you girls because if you're being honest I forgot to greet this vlog I just literally picked up my camera and started vlogging no no greetings or anything so if you're new here hey girl hey mm -hmm. if you're a returning subscriber was good in this vlog this is about to be a little spend the weekend with me so let's get into it i ain't got nothing else to say morning girlfriends happy friday we're gonna start the vlog off here i am more than positive i'm gonna greet you guys at the beginning of this vlog with a with a better situ situation right now y'all man down okay the the girl is down i got green tea and i got a heating pad so if you know you know girl mother nature's trying to take the girl out like i am hurting now the thing is this my stomach is bloated my stomach is from here to tennessee child just bloated i have a video to record today i need to get out this vlog of what i purchased in new york now the thing about this not vlog this what is this a haul the thing about the haul i had so many items y'all I'm going to say I returned so much stuff, which I'm not mad at because my I, right now with my wardrobe, I'm falling in love with the way I'm buying things and really taking my time to curate this, um, my, my overall wardrobe because I want things that's going to grow with me. I want a closet full of things that I can have like 20 years from now. And I'm just like, oh my God, this was such a good buy. And lately, I've been doing so good with curating pieces that will actually grow with me and evolve with my style. So, for the what I purchased in New York haul, a lot of that stuff I returned. A lot of things I returned, and I just at this point have a lot of Zara pieces because y'all know how I feel about Zara in New York. So I need to try these things on, film it. But the thing is, this I'm bloated, and I don't want to try on clothes right now. So I'm trying to figure out what are we gonna do. Also, this vlog may be a spend the weekend with me. I don't want to say spend the day with me because, child, mm -mm, I do two things and I'm done for the day. I'm like, baby, I need a break. <laughs> I do two things, baby, and I am done. I can't take no more. So, I know right now I need to get up, get out of bed, and we need to go to my storage unit because I need to get some things out of storage. So, the problem, why is that problem? The things I'm trying to figure out. I am purchasing a lot of tall boots because maybe two years ago I realized I don't have, yeah, I don't have a lot of boots. So I've been purchasing a lot of boots, y'all. And I'm loving them because they are all boots that will grow in my wardrobe. I have nowhere to put them. None of the boots fit on the wall. So the only thing I'm looking at now is possibly putting them on the top shelf. Oh, I don't know. The wall is just, she's done. She's cute, but I need a room full of space that I can just build out a closet. So, for now, we have to do what we do. So, I need to go to storage. I need to get some boots out of storage. I'm actually going to my storage unit because I have... I'm going to Houston to see Beyonce. And I need to put the look together. I don't need to wait until the day before. And the funny thing is this y'all i haven't tried on my renaissance dress since i got it and that was in like july the past month baby i've been living my best life i've been eating good living good luxuriating in peace and abundance okay there's a part of me in my heart that's saying jernica you cannot fit this damn dress but i need to go get the boots that i want to wear with the dress and just try the whole look on so i'm gonna no i'm not taking you guys to the storage unit but I'll see you guys when I come back because I want to show y'all. Let me show y'all what I'm thinking about doing. So y'all see how I have these boots up there, the black boots. I'm thinking about moving the Hermes boxes. Well, I'm not thinking about it. I think I have to because I need space for my boots um, to also keep them on display, but also help me get dressed easier. So I'm thinking about taking it. Well, I'm going to take the Hermes boxes down. I'm going to move these slides here and I'm gonna just put them down on the floor and use the whole top row for boots and hopefully that works because I'm also if I don't if I run out of room I may have to like move the top bags over here and use them for boots because I really want my boots on display I don't want to keep them in a box I just need the things that I'm wearing especially new things I just need them on display so we about to go to the storage unit get some boots and we're about to update the wall
be done it needs to be cut it needs to be all of the things and i don't want to do it now because if i do it now it ain't gonna be as fresh as i would like for it to be so i'm thinking about just waiting maybe until like thursday to do my hair because i don't want to get it cut now because if you have a pixie you know the pixie grows so fast and oh my god also girl i'm cutting my hair when this was maybe about a week or two ago i'm cutting my hair and i think i was gonna call my sister while i'm cutting my hair and she said it was on facetime and i'm cutting with scissors so i'm holding the hair and i'm cutting and then she's like girl look at this and i turned as i'm cutting i forget that i'm cutting my hair and i turned and now i have a ball spot behind my damn ear so i'm like oh so girl when i tell you i have been using hair growth oil uh rice water everything on this little patch i'ma need her to grow within the next week because i don't know what i'm gonna do and i don't want to wear a wig i just don't so i have a lot of dilemmas in my life right now but i don't worry i'll take these dilemmas over the rest of the dilemmas so let's just cross fingers that the ball spot grow back I could fit my renaissance dress, which most likely I'm going to try to, oh no, I don't think I should try to dress on right now while I'm bloated because mm -mm, maybe we should wait until next week. Listen, if all fails, I'm going to see Beyonce. I don't care if I have to wear a, tr a trash bag, which my dress low key look like a trash bag. I don't care if I have to wear a trash bag. We're going to see Beyonce. If I have to pick out, if I can't fit my renaissance dress, I will be hurt, but I'm going to just pick some out of my closet, whatever. Let's go. Y'all. I am back from the storage. When I tell y'all I am annoyed, I am so annoyed. I need to find a better way of storing my fall winter clothes, especially like not just clothes, the shoes and like the faux leather. For those of you who don't know, faux leather, it bleeds. Like when you store it and it touches other things, it bleeds. And I'm just so annoyed because look at this. Half of these boots y'all I purchased last year and I didn't get to wear them because I was too busy wearing I got my cost for wear from this girl. I got these last year from Zara. And look at this. This is such a gorgeous boot. Like, I'm gonna have this for a while. And I wore them out. Those and these got the most use um, last fall for me. I also got them in this nude beige color. I did not wear them. Y'all see this? Look at this. It must have touched something. And when I tell y'all I'm so annoyed because I've never worn these boots. Something was bleeding on them. I'm annoyed. I'm not getting rid of this boot because I did not wear them. So far, all the other boots look okay. But it's also on this boot. So I'm about to figure out, and they still have the tag on them. We're about to figure out how to get this off of here because this is ridiculous. So moving forward, when it's time for me to like switch my closet over and put the fall stuff up, I'm about to look for a whole new storage situation, especially with boots. I already found some boot storage on Amazon. It's basically like this big zip bag and you sit the boots up like this and they have like a hanger. We gonna have to do that because no, 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 no. This, this is a moment. I told y'all about these last fall. This is why I've been loving like Zara boots. I cannot lie y'all. When I was in New York, I tried on so many designer boots. Y'all know I was just walking around. A lot of times, a lot of the things I did not show y'all. Hold on, put on my slippers. A lot of things I didn't show y'all because, I don't know, something about vlogging and shopping is so hard because it's like, you gonna either try to get the content or you gonna miss out on something good. So when I was shopping, I was trying on all the designer boots and stuff. And don't get me wrong, the designer boots were gorgeous. And I'm like, am I gonna get my cost per wear from these? And my answer was no. So I was like, okay, let's go to Zara. Y'all, when I was in New York and I went to Zara, by the time y'all see this vlog, no, the, the Zara haul should be up tomorrow. Girl, Zara gave me what I needed. And Zara boots were a good $100. So you can get nice quality boots that are not designer prices. Uh, I also got my fall pillows out of storage for my bed. So I'm ready to kind of like cozy the vibe up. All of my spring, summer things is pretty much gone so my bed i'm switching it over back to the fall so that's why i got the pillows but hold on let's see if we can get this off the boat i had a pair of patent leather shoes and something got on them so i used acetone and it worked and i'm using a q-tip oh my god y'all i'm hurt 
It is not moving. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. It's not moving. I don't know what to do. Because it's also not that much, but it's very noticeable because the boot is this very light color. <clears throat> okay, y'all. Whatever. Let's go. So for the wall, I actually did a pre-fall little reset. This is not the way this wall will look. This is literally going to be like this for maybe a month. This is my way of getting the summer stuff out and kind of like put that in storage and put the things that I can wear now to give me fall vibes. That's what I put on the wall. A lot of people are asking me, why do I have so much black? If you do not know, in the fall, girl, I wear black the most. That's like my favorite thing to wear in the fall. So I was very surprised to hear so many people say, why did I put so much black? Because I like black. Okay okay so now you guys can see me uh try to organize the boots also i linked these boots in my communities if you did not get these from zara my mom you missed out because this is a great boot hold on let's let's get up there hold on Ugh. so i got these boots when i was in new york y'all this is a great dupe hold on let me put them back so you can see the full boot this is a great dupe to the Givenchy Shark Lock boot. I've been wanting the Shark Lock boots for years, and baby, when I tell you I am satisfied with these, also, I love, look how high the, oh, you can't see it, hold on. Y'all, look how high this heel is. It's a, at least two inches, so these are a good boot you can wear all day, and I love the fact that once that covering go over the heel, you don't know how high the boot is. So, these boots are actually super comfortable. I did get mine in a 40, and if you didn't get them, girl, you missed out because these were about a hundred dollars and the Givenchy shark lock boot that's about 25 honey so this is a great dupe and these are so buttery soft <laughs> you can't go wrong but come on let's let's set this up sorry i missed your call i was on the jet i've been so zoned out trying to figure out what's next so scared to fail i'm calculating my every step gotta watch my back and keep my scrap but nonetheless i think about you when i'm gone wishing i can probably home wishing someone come and love you how they post to now see this letter but it's too late i go chasing my dream don't get in the way i blame my struggles and my offers for my hearts and ways i'm waiting in michigan right now look at that real estate bro knows i want to lay it down but i'm chasing cake can't go back broke stay on the go that's all that's on my brain tell me fuck you i hate you then i love you So we don't end hot day, do you crash and burn on the shade room? Screen runner, gotta stop. Alright y'all, so this is what it looks like. I actually have one more pair of boots I'm gonna put here. It goes in with like the nude color. I'll put them up there once I film them for the haul. Y'all, I actually love this. I feel like it's the most effective way to have the wall be as functional as possible. And I know all the girls like, why the black, the black? Because like I said, I love black and it looks good right here next to all the black. But I love this. I was literally in bed trying to figure out how can I store my boots because I know the boots wouldn't fit on this wall. So this right here is amazing. I kind of wish I had room to like have more boots on top of there but for right now i love this and i also have some boots in my main closet like the shorter boots so i'm also thinking about putting shorter boots as it get colder and i pull out the shorter boots i'll put the shorter boots here like booties and i'll move all of these to the floor once these heels are gone so yeah, like i said i'm constantly updating the wall this is just like a pre-fall wall so the wall will definitely change i'm gonna say like mid-october once once all my things come out of storage but I'm not mad at this. I actually really, really like this. But I think, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave it because I like the boots up there. Y'all, I am sitting here on Google trying to figure out how to get these stains off of these boots because it's gonna bother me until I get the stain off. So I did, I'm reading this blog and they're saying rub toothpaste. You can make a, um, I tried to do the nail polish remover. She told me, I, well, she told me. She says you need to do it for a few minutes. I don't want to do that because I feel like nail polish, I don't have nail polish remover. I use acetone and acetone can be very abrasive and I don't want to ruin the boots. I just also found out you can restore shine to patent leather shoes with Windex. Who would have known? Um, also, they said use a, let's see, toothpaste is good. I got that. We're going to try that. 
and rubbing alcohol i don't have rubbing alcohol which i need to get some for the house and i th think i just saw something that said something about making why is it stopping this is aggravating something about using baking soda so everything i got in this house we about to try it i tried dish soap it did not work but what i got to lose let's try everything girl all right, so I guess I can try a toothpaste, girl. I'm not expecting toothpaste to work, but what do I have to lose, okay? And I have no idea where for my tripod, so let me sit y'all here for a second. I don't think this gonna work, but I guess we about to see, because I have nothing to lose at this point. At this point, I'm just playing in my own face because I know dang on well this will not work. And guess what, it didn't. So we moving right on to the next thing. I think I'm gonna just end up leaving the house to go to the store to get some alcohol, rubbing alcohol because I know rubbing alcohol could possibly work, but I'm just trying to use this. anything I have in the house before I have to leave. So let's try to use baking soda. So far, nothing took the stain off. However, the stain did get lighter. At this point, I need a break and I'm over it. So whatever. Uh-uh. So this song just dropped, y'all. It literally just dropped a few minutes ago. Baby, the way Drake read the girls their rights in this song, I said, who is sleeping with this man? Baby, SZA, you, you tried, but Drake read the girls their rights, okay? He just snatched the girls' edges. He was very petty and very shady in this song. Yet, I still have it on repeat. So what does that say about me? <laughs> All right, so I switched out the pillows on the bed. I actually want to change these white pillows out. I want three pillows instead of two because during the, when it was, summer, the smaller pillows looked good, but these are kind of like the same size. So I need three pillows to go behind the gray. But this is the color palette. During the fall, winter, I still need to have a white situation i'm a white bed girl I, it just makes me feel like i'm sleeping at a hotel i love it and i did pull out my throw i got this throw from target last year this is my fall winter cozy vibe and yeah so i think i'm gonna get something that's maybe like brown or something that looks good with the gray pillows and this and put right there but yeah this is the vibe and i'm about to take down these curtains and wash them It is later in the day. It is 7.51, so 8 o'clock. And I'm about to wash my hair. Let me sit y'all down. I do have on a robe. It's a half a robe that I picked up from Target. And when I do stuff like this, like I'm about to wash my hair, or I need to just how about the shower? Because I just got the shower also. I just throw this half a robe on. But I'm about to wash my hair because I have um I have to record tomorrow. I'm in the mood to record. So anytime I have energy and I'm like inspired to record, I do it. So tomorrow I actually want to record. I might as well, I'm going to do three videos tomorrow. But y'all know I told y'all my hair needs to get done. So what I'm going to do, this is like very bright. What I'm going to do is I need to finesse it. So I'm about to wash and deep condition my hair. I'm going to um, sit on the couch for a while because it's still early. So I'm going to like watch something, maybe like a movie or something um and just vibe out 
since I last talked to y'all, I haven't been doing anything. I was eating tonight. I had taco salad and I used ground turkey, which was so good. Um, had a glass of Prosecco because I haven't had Prosecco since I was in New York. And I just was listening to music. A lot of people dropped new music today. Uh, Rod Wade, I love Rod Wade. He uh, dropped the album, so I was listening to that. Drake and SZA dropped today, so I was listening to that. DJ Cat, a lot of people dropped music. Today, today was a good music day, so I've been just jamming out to music and drinking Prosecco. But now I need to prepare for tomorrow, so I'm gonna sit down with my list of videos that I need to do. Um, I have a haul, which is already, girl, literally, the wardrobe rack. Did I tell y'all? No, I told y'all that in my other video when I was on the wall that I needed to order a wardrobe rack. So now I have two wardrobe racks. One of them I'm gonna just travel with, so I can, I don't have to keep taking it down. I'm gonna just travel with that one and I ordered another one. So it came and I steamed all the clothes. All the clothes is just ready to be um, tried on for the haul. So I just need to finesse my hair. My hair, y'all, it needs to be cut so bad. So I'm gonna mold it tonight and then just kind of like finesse it for the videos tomorrow. So in order to do that, to do that I need to wash and condition it so that's what I'm about to do and most likely I'm gonna just see y'all tomorrow because I don't have any plans tomorrow the only thing I really want to do is record three videos and I want to get up early to do that I know I want to probably go for like a morning walk tomorrow so most likely I'm gonna just see y'all tomorrow because Happy Saturday. Y'all, it's so beautiful outside and I did not go for my morning walk because, are y'all too bright? I did not go for my morning walk because, child, I slept in today. It is 10.32 and if my grandma didn't call me, I wouldn't have gotten out of bed. I'd just still be in bed right now. So right now I'm drinking my kombucha. I love drinking kombucha. I, my friend told me it is not kombucha. Kabucha. But I like saying kombucha. So. I'm drinking my kombucha out of a wine glass. I love drinking anything out of, wine, out of a wine glass. So 
I think I told y'all about this. Y'all have to try the Health Aid Ginger Belly Reset. Y'all, this stuff is so good. It's so delicious and it's also healthy and have like amazing benefits, but it tastes amazing. So I will highly recommend. I get mine from Target and Whole Foods. But y'all, when I tell y'all I did not sleep last night, I feel horrible. I don't know about y'all, but traveling takes a toll on me. It takes a toll on my body. And I just commend the girls who can do another flight and another flight and another city and another country and just like travel and just live out of a suitcase and just always gone. The past month, y'all, I have been living my best life, okay? I'm like airport, back to the airport, back to the airport, back to the airport. I'm tired. And traveling takes a toll on my sleep pattern and my appetite. Like, I just feel like I, I don't have a routine. It's just kind of like, wake up when you want to, go to sleep when you want to, and it's just like, there's no routine. Like, and it's crazy because I'm only home for two seconds and I can't get a routine because then I'm gone again. And these trips, y'all, they've been long as hell. It's kind of like eight days. It's not just like a little weekend. It's like eight days, 10 days, seven days. The shortest one is about to be three days, thank God, because I just need to sit down. Oh my God, and then after I go see Beyonce, I think two weeks later I'm going somewhere else. Baby, after that, we're done. We, I'm, I think I'm gonna sit down for the rest of the year because, oh, it's just not for me. It's just not for me. I'm tired. I don't sleep well because it's just like, I don't have a sleep pattern anymore. So it's like, I'm just tossing and turning all night and I just feel, I feel miserable, so. And my melatonin, nothing works, y'all. I'm just, I'm not a traveling gal. Mm -mm, baby, we gotta sp spread these trips out. It can't be trip, leave this place and go to the next place. Uh-uh. And I've been getting a lot of DMs of people in my DMs asking me, well, gee, hopefully, hope you've been vlogging. Right now, I'm in a season of this is for me. So it's like, I feel like I've shared a lot not really mm, i've shared a lot of things a lot of the places i usually go i'll vlog but right now i'm just in a season of this is for me kind of like separating the two okay this is for content this is for me this is for content this is for me and in the this is for this is for me season i'm not vlogging i'm just living my best life and creating real life memories because I was looking at, I don't know if you guys know, I have this memory box and these, this memory box is just full of amazing memories. And now the memory box y'all, it has, I want to say oh, over 10,000, it's like pictures on pictures on pictures. And each year, at the end of the year, I print out all of these pictures. And last year, I remember being like, hold on, I think last year I only had like a thousand pictures and I was like, whoa. That's not uh, like 900 pictures or something. I was like, uh-uh. That means I didn't make enough memories because at the end of the year, y'all, I was used to having like 3,000 pictures every year. 3,000 memories. Like, and I just want my memories to like just continue to grow and actually live life in real life and not just always picking up my camera. So a lot of the things that I'm doing right now, a lot of the trips, you guys won't see them because I'm not blogging. And if we be honest, y'all, the trips that I don't blog, I have the most fun because I'm, I don't have to split myself into two and have to worry about, okay, create content and then have fun. No, it's like, I just get to have fun. I don't bring makeup half of the time. Child, half of the time, I'm just in just fun mode. Don't care about nothing. So a lot of the things that I'm doing right now, you guys won't see them. So that's just for like the memory box. But I hope you guys are actually living your life and enjoying it and just not living it just taking trips to post on social media live life in real life okay because social media it's not a real place it's not real life if i'm making sense so right now my goal is to make sure i am living my life to the fullest and truly enjoying it like i'm talking about if somebody told me you literally have just to the end of this year to live and then it's done I want to live like every day is just like my last day and just have the time of my life and just create memories and also take pictures of these memories so my kids can know I was having fun, okay? My kids gonna get so tired of me showing them pictures, child. Oh well, dear future kids, get ready because you're gonna have pictures on pictures on pictures to see, okay? But yeah, that's the life update. I'm tired and I just need to breathe. But this week, y'all, my goal is to get my energy up because let me tell you something. Hear me now. This is a fair warning. 
when I touch down in Houston, Texas, I am going to live my best life. And when I say my best life, I'm talking about from the time I land to the time I am on my way back to the airport to go home, I am going to cut the hell up, okay? So I need to rest this week because I'm going to cut up, okay? It's not just going to the Renaissance concert. Oh, no, it is a Renaissance weekend. I'm going to act a fool, okay? And the looks, <laughs> they're looking, baby. The looks are looking, girl. It's giving, mm -hmm. yeah, you see me. So, my therapist has canceled therapy today. So, thank God I'm not falling apart. Because, uh, what are we going to do? Mm. But, yeah, I'm about to record. Because I need to do this video. And I keep pushing it off because I don't want to do it. But, Good morning, girls. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day. And also, I need to end this vlog out today. Yeah. All right. Bye. Hopefully, next time you see me, I am looking like a, <laughs> a dime, girl. Wait, before I let y'all go, ball spot update. So, this morning, right now, I have some oil on her. I've been using this hair growth oil that I picked up from TJ Maxx, y'all. So, this morning, the ball spot there's enough hair on the patch that i could pinch it i was like thank god and it's also enough hair the how big is the ball spot the ball spot is probably the size of no not a dime that's too big it's it's pretty big but there's enough hair around the spot so i could finesse it so i'm gonna have to strategically place this hair baby got to be this something the hair needs to be strategically placed and don't move but there's enough hair i think we'll be okay i think so before I go, I just need to say this because, girl, I'm not addressing it in the comments, okay? Yes, I was watching Beyonce last night and singing my face off, okay? And yes, I'm going to see Beyonce and I'm going to still sing my face off. So please, stay out of my DMs, girl. Stay out of my comments. Stay out of my face telling me that I'm going to hell because I listen to Beyonce and I'm going to see Beyonce. I don't worship Beyonce, but I'm going to see Beyonce, okay? I don't care what you got to say. Save it. Save it. I don't want to hear it, okay? Have a great day. So while I'm up here trying to get these boots down, I also found out what was bleeding. It's these boots. They were bleeding in storage. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm happy to know what was bleeding. So now I know when I store these, I'm gonna store these by themselves. Right, but he spanked me when I get back. I'm in LA, up there drive. I'm in New York, Madison Ave. I'm a Barbie girl, pink Barbie dream house. The world can't be killing shit. Got me yelling out like the scream house. You're yelling out me. So hey, girl. I told y'all next time y'all saw me, I would look like something. I have been recording for two hours, y'all. Was it two hours? I'm gonna say hour and a half. I'm over it. I'm over it. I am tired. It is beautiful outside. I want to go to the pool. And guess what? I'm not even done. I want to get out of this house. I'm taking a break. We eat lunch. But I forgot all about y'all. Forgot all about the vlog, child. I was up in here, y'all. This new Rod Wave album, baby, I am playing it on repeat, y'all. Right now, my favorite song on there is uh, Great Gatsby and Back Lit. My boy said, get out your feelings and get you a bag. Get out your feelings and run up a bag. And I said, amen, say less, okay? So <laughs> that's what I'm doing right now, y'all. I'm about to eat. I'm also about to, hmm, that's none of y'all business, never mind. I need to go take some of my clothes to get altered because I need to go to see Beyonce and I need not just renaissance looks I need looks for the whole weekend and a lot of the pieces I didn't take to get altered because I wanted to do it for the um the haul child as soon as I finish this haul I'm running out to go see if she can do my clothes I got this new lady who alter like my everyday clothes and she's so fast y'all I could drop something off to her on a Monday and she'll be like, it'll be done Wednesday. And I don't just drop one piece off. Anytime I drop clothes off to get altered, I drop at least five pieces at a time because I ain't got time to be going back and forth. So the other lady who do all of my luxury clothes, she, I think she get overwhelmed with the amount of items I be giving her. So she be keeping them for too long. So I found a new lady. Now I don't trust giving her luxury clothes because I don't know how she work. The lady who alter my luxury clothes, that's what she do for a living. So I trust her. but. 
we need to go get these clothes altered because I have a dilemma. Hold on, let me show y'all. The top that I have on right now, I got it in an extra large. It's like this leather bustier or leather two top. I don't know. And I got it from Zara. When I got it, it was like this. The cut goes like this. But it was too big in the breast area. So the lady, she took it in, y'all. I want her to take it in a, just a little. No, I think I'm going to leave it. Never mind. But she did a great job at altering this. So, thank this. I got this top. The way I shop at Zara, y'all, is so funny. When I love something, with Zara, is nowadays you can't think about what size you want. Okay, I'm going to get this size and maybe go back. No, you need to buy both sizes at the same time. With this top, how did y'all not go out and buy this? That's what I want to know. How did y'all not go out to buy this? This is that girl. Like, she is everything. Let me show you. <laughs> Let me not mess up my hair, y'all, because we still got to finish recording. So, she go like this, and in the back... My back is out and then she tied with buckles. How did y'all not go get this top? This top is fire, okay? Even if I wear it with like a white long sleeve, not long sleeve, a white button up, she's gonna be good. She's gonna be good. Now my dilemma is this, what size is it? I think it's extra large. I got an extra large and I got a large. I don't, with the extra large, I like the way it fits my boobs and stomach area. And I would have to let her take the straps in but everything else fits nice with the large I don't like the way the large fit but I don't know which one to keep it doesn't fit crazy I don't know with the large I don't love the way it fit but maybe I'm, it's me maybe I just can't fit it I don't know I don't know what to do because I'm thinking if she alter this one it's gonna fit like the large so I might as well just go ahead but the large fit my boobs. Hold on, let's see what is the difference. Because maybe the large is a little, the extra large is a little larger. Oh yeah, the, oh, okay. So with the extra large, there is a little more fabric, like just this much. Mm. Damn, so maybe I should keep the extra large and let her alter the straps so I can girl I don't know whatever but yeah I'm about to finish eating lunch because I need to finish recording this video so I can get the heck up out of this house y'all I'm sitting here answering comments from my last video in my last video I was saying how hopefully y'all not cricket in the last video I was saying how people don't like to share their favorite influences they kind of like the gatekeep keep them to themselves and so many people saying that's what they do and I'm just like lost for words because I don't think y'all understand how frustrating it is to I don't think y'all understand how frustrating it is for a creator not just speaking for myself I'm sure I can speak for creators business owners anybody who's actually out here busting their ass and they want to grow on whatever platform or doing whatever it is that they're doing I think it is crazy that people are literally sitting here telling me, gee, I don't like sharing my favorite you know, fat fashion influences. To me, that's crazy because we really work hard and of course we want to grow. Like we're not just doing it just to do it. Of course we love it. We love doing what we're doing, but I feel like you, you still want to grow. You still want to see growth on the platforms. You so share. And I'm not just speaking for me. If you have a favorite influencer, she could have a hundred follows a hundred subscribers share her help people grow like don't gatekeep it's not it's not helping us and some of my favorite influences that i will find on um youtube and i start watching them and i'm like oh i love finding new girls who are like they're new they're hungry they're uploading and then i'll be like oh my god yes i found somebody new and i just start binge watching and then they'll just disappear and I'm the type of girl, I'm going to slide in your DMs. I'm not going to be in the comments because I know there's pressure. I'm going to slide into your DMs and I'm going to be like, girl, why haven't you uploaded where you at? I love your content. And the thing that I hear the most is, girl, I, I don't have time to just keep pouring into it. And I'm just not growing. I'm frustrated. I get um, a lot of creators compare themselves to other people. Like, why is she growing? But I'm not growing. So I just feel like sharing people, liking, sharing, subscribing, but definitely sharing telling a friend to tell a friend that helps people and 
that's why I'm over here, child. I'm trying to support everybody upcoming, already here. I want to give everybody their flowers because I know how it feels to work your ass off and feel like, okay, I'm not growing. I'm just still here. So, like I said, gatekeeping, it ain't cute. Y'all, I'm so tired. It is currently 4.30. I'm done. I just have to try on some shoes. Baby, I can't take them all. I don't want to record another video. I don't want to record another video. Mm -mm. I don't. My hair can't take them all. We can't take them all. The funny thing is this. When I record videos like three in a row, I don't want to talk to nobody for the rest of the day. Mm -mm. I have nothing else to say. Nope. I don't want to talk about fashion. I don't want to look at fashion. I have nothing else to say, ma'am. But the good thing about this, the fact that I recorded three videos is going to make my life so much easier. The thing is this, I don't mind editing a video. Recording be the thing for me because I'm the type of person, when it's pretty outside, I cannot record. I like to record on rainy days because I don't, I'm not tempted to be outside. I just want to be outside right now, okay? But just wanted to come check in and say I'm almost done. I'm about to try on these shoes and after that, baby, I ain't got nothing for you. So I actually wanted to show y'all this and I need to show y'all now before I forget. So if you are a content creator and you travel with like a lot of equipment like I do because I never know what kind of um content I want to create. So I like to travel with all type of um gadgets. So let's start with this bag. This bag, as you can see, is just like a regular zip bag. But let me tell y'all, this saved my life because I've been traveling a lot and usually my wires and everything just be all over the place. So this is a bag that when you first open it. You can have like wires. I usually have like my vlogging tripod here. You can put another tripod, anything that you need. It's wires, tripods, whatever can go up here. I have, what is this? Um, phone charger, extra SD cards. All of these are remote. You can put other wires and stuff here. This really y'all saved my life. And it is, it has like two compartments. So at the bottom, when I'm traveling, I usually keep like my lenses. I put my vlogging camera here or an extra lens. My microphone go here. These are extra um, batteries, vlogging batteries, lights, chargers. This bag, y'all, it is amazing. It was like $30. And when I tell y'all, it saved my life when I was in New York. And when I had to go on a um, trip that I just came back from and I wanted to create content, this was so easy to like get all of my stuff and travel with it without it being just all over the place. And lately I've been traveling with my, both cameras, my vlogging camera and my large sit down camera. Hold on. So for my large sit down camera, I would usually just put it inside of my carry on bag. But that camera is too expensive for me to keep doing that. So I ended up buying this hard case and you just sit the camera in there y'all. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it, but it is padded y'all you need this girl it's a hard case and it literally protects my camera and stuff when it's going through tsa i don't have to worry about anything and i got both of these from amazon because originally i wanted a backpack for my all my equipment but a backpack was just too bulky and i don't want to have to worry about that so all i have to do is throw this in my carry-on and i don't have to worry about nothing so i would definitely recommend this especially if you are a content creator and you just travel with a lot of gadgets and items this right here, sis, is for you. Y'all, y'all, the way I am playing this album, y'all, I love Rod Wave. Like, listen, I love this song, this album, everything so much, y'all, to the point where I'm about to start stalking him for concert tickets. I want to go to his concert in Houston because I heard in Houston he cuts up girls. I have to go to this concert, y'all. But this song right here is my fave, and this album, 10 out of 10. Hey y'all, it is later, way later, girl. I did leave the house, I did not take y'all because I went to my cousin's house and I usually don't take y'all to people's house. So, um, you guys didn't really miss nothing. I just went over there and literally start editing. Um, I finished doing all my work, so now tomorrow I could have a smooth day. For I need to kind of like prep some things because I know I leave to go see Beyonce, so I need to go get some clothes altered and i need to start packing but i know tomorrow y'all not gonna miss nothing it's a chill day because all of my work is done so now all i have to do is um edit but i can literally do that on the couch in my pajamas all day um 
if we've been honest y'all i'm just gonna end the vlog out here because i honestly have nothing else to say i feel like i've been talking all day and i just i'm drained child today drained me <laughs> Right now, I'm just sitting here watching Beyonce live at Roseland. Girl, Beyonce live at Roseland was such a vibe. It is just a timeless vibe. Like, the vocals, the setting, the ambiance, the lights, the crowd. It is a timeless vibe. So, I'm over here bopping out today. Um, one thing about B-Baby, her mic is always on, okay? And my camera about to die, but I'm going to say this real quick. If you are an upcoming creator, if you are new here on YouTube and you want to, if you, even not on YouTube, if you are a stylist, you do lashes, whatever you do, girl, give yourself a shout out down in those comments because listen, we have to support each other, okay? I'm over here talking about <laughs> y'all need to like, share, subscribe to my videos. I want y'all to give yourself a shout out. And if you are on YouTube and you are consistent, I will most like, most definitely subscribe because I'm always looking for new people to watch and new things to watch. So, if you are a content creator, if you do lashes, if you do hair, if you're a realtor, I don't know what you're doing out there. Give yourself a um shout out, shout out down in these comments, girl, because you never know who be comment surfing. So, yeah. And also, if you like this video, like, share, comment, subscribe. I don't like when my uh camera start blanking because what if I had something to say? And now the fact that my camera about to die and I don't have an extra battery, I feel like I have a whole lot to say. And she just blanking in my face red. Ugh, I don't like that for me. The vlog. It's over, sis. Adios.